www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. The video that we have right now is still a part of the video tutorial series that I'm creating for, I mean, about a uh, Huawei. I mean, this is a BioNTel or BioDSL issued Huawei modem router. It's Echo Life Home Gateway HG521, a combo modem router, modem and router on one single device. And this video is a video tutorial on how you can load or download first download a configuration file and load it back in case you're trying to upgrade firmware in case you're trying to make changes or in case you would want to save it for uh, like a backup or future reconfiguration in case you're trying to test some uh, new features of the modem so you don't want it wiped out completely you might want to download the config file and then load it back again. What you'd want to do first is open up your browser right here. And default IP address that this router right now is using is 192. It says in there 168.1.1. Press enter on your keyboard. It should let you access the login page right here that says Echo Life Home Gateway. If you can't find that in there, we have a. I mean, if you can't get through to this page, it says page cannot be displayed. Um, timeout. You might want to do open run command on your uh, computer and type in CMD. Let me bring this to the center. Type in something that says IPCONFIG or IP config. Enter. Look up for the part that says IPv4 subnet default gateway go straight to default gateway 192.168.1.1 try to match that with this here and there it should be 1.1 sometimes uh, if you're maybe from a different region and you're trying to use it I mean your or Huawei or your provider is issuing you a different IP address it would maybe 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.10.1, something like that. Uh, whatever you see here, default gateway, that's the one that you have to type on your URL right here. Right? If you still can't access, you're really having problems. Maybe it's the cable, or you just would want to watch the video tutorial that we have right on the playlists on NoodleWorks on our YouTube channel it would somehow help you out in some way so again username you have two types administrator and uh, just a simple user if you're a user you can't make any changes if you're logging in as a user you could just see all uh, the device info in there but again if you're trying to make changes log in as admin a DMIN password Type in the password that you are using. If you don't know your password, uh, probably be default would be buy and DSL. If you're here in the Philippines, try blank password. Try admin for username or try admin for password, like admin admin, all lowercase. Uh, sometimes try one two three four or one two three four five. Maybe all those would work. If still not working you would need to reset the modem or maybe you could call your provider and ask for the default password so you're on uh, device information right now what you would want to do again is download the existing configuration file of this so you could save that in case you would be experimenting on your modem right now whatever changes had been made you went into or last thing that would happen would be errors errors and errors and what you just have to do is load that working configuration file back again on this existing modem right so first download go to maintenance on the left side right here go to device it got reset configuration file firmware upgrade before you do firmware upgrade you also might want to do download a config file click on configuration file right here it says to download the current configuration file click the download configuration file button download it would say download config file dot conf save file just click on ok then it should be in there just keep this file right here um, I suggest you also would want to rename this let's say uh, config file dash March the 10th 2013 
or whatever date uh, it is right now or today so you would know when did you download that I mean when when was that uh, is, is it really an active uh, I mean is it your recent config file because probably it would be mixed up with some other config file what if you would load the older config file and then you would have troubles so just sort of like a, an identifier just add in a date in there and that's about it it's been saved and you just log out then do change do experiment on your device and make changes to a point that you'd want it back let's say um, you'd want to load back that very same configuration that you just downloaded Log in again on your device, go back to maintenance on the left side, click on device right here, go to configuration file, then instead of download, do upload right at the bottom. It says to update a configuration file, click browse button, find the path, then just it's, it's just a normal thing. I just click on browse and look it up for, I mean, uh, wherever directory you've had it saved and load that in there and just click on upload configuration file after you've uploaded that um, it would log you out then just to be sure that everything is working okay that everything has been refreshed everything's working good turn off your computer turn off your modem turn off everything uh, boot back up again boot back up your modem boot back up your computer so you can refresh all your devices and then from there try to check if everything's working okay now again for some other video tutorials you can check out www.newtoboss.com yeah my name is ty and do subscribe to our youtube channel please help us make it grow youtube.com slash thanks for watching